Okay, so um, uh, today we'll have uh, two topics. Uh, we'll talk about uh, John Wellborn Root, who was born on um, uh, January 10th, but in 1850. And then we'll talk about uh, a more complex subject in a way, uh, architecture and randomness. But let's begin with John Wellborn Root. Uh, an interesting uh, American architect, unfortunately, he died young at 41. Uh, so John Wellborn Root, born uh, January 10th, 1850, was an American architect who was based in Chicago with Daniel Burnham. He was one of the founders of the Chicago School style. Two of his buildings have been designated a National Historic Landmark. Others have been designated Chicago landmarks and listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1958, he was posthumously awarded the AIA Gold Medal, meaning the American Institute of Architecture or Architects Gold Medal. Uh, this was the man, uh, again, he died young at 41, and architects usually live long lives, but unfortunately he didn't. Uh, I think here he is with on the left to Daniel Burnham, uh, and on the right is uh, him, um, Mr. Root. So let's wish him happy birthday. So uh, this one I already read, uh, sorry. Now let's look at this building from 1880. Uh, it was destroyed, Granny's block in Chicago. I hope I have pictures, I do. Uh, quite a quite a massive uh, big building, um, you know, destroyed. What can you do? Uh, humans are very good at uh, building, but they are also very good at destroying. <clears throat> so, uh, who knows what uh, so-called developer without scruples uh, bought this land and uh, you know they didn't care about the building that was already there. Now, St. Gabriel's Church from 1880. So he was uh, 30 years old when he built it. And, uh, you know, even in this fragment, I think it looks uh, more than okay. Uh, has something a uh, little bit of uh, Richardson, uh, but um, it's a good building. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised this architect is not so well known. Um, well, especially in Europe. In the United States, he is known, but <clears throat> he's not one, <clears throat> one of the stars, so to speak. Uh, particularly the top, top part, you know, the, the tall part is, um, you know, this could have been built even in the 20th century in the postmodern period. With a, a little more abstraction, it could have transcended the limitations of time. But even like this, I think it is, it is not far from it a bad building. And he was 30 years old. So he built this in 1880. Now, the Montauk building uh, from 1882 to 1883, so he was 32, 33 years old. It was destroyed. The building in the middle. Maybe it's not the most flattering um, rendering, but uh, that's what we got. Now the Rookery building, which is now, and it exists, an, a national historic landmark, an important building from 1885, Chicago. So he built it when he was 35 years old.
It's a fine building. It's a fine building and I'm happy it was saved. I mean, even the interior I think is, uh, is remarkable. Okay, maybe the, you know, the railing uh, of the stair is a little bit, uh, you know, passe, but, uh, you know, the space and, the, you know, the glass part of the, <clears throat> of the roofing uh, is, is, is nice. I don't know, I think here, yes, here was also Frank Lloyd Wright involved. Frank Lloyd Wright was, uh, I think, uh, working on the uh, rejuvenation, so to speak, of the building. And uh, you can see some elements. I, I'm not sure how it looked like before Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, uh, you know, stepped in, but uh, I don't think Wright modified it um, dramatically. I don't know, but this is what I imagine. This is a beautiful uh, idea to, to, to incorporate a, a staircase in this way inside this uh, larger, um, you know, larger space. And the fact that the structure, the steel structure is also ornamental, adds something to the charm of the, of the building, in, at least in this, uh, in this area. Now it cannot be destroyed any longer because it, it has the status of a national landmark. The Phoenix building in Chicago, 1887 destroyed. Truly this man built a lot. Uh, at an age when uh, many architects don't even really start. After all, Frank uh, Louis Kahn uh, started so-called officially or he became known when he was around 55. But this architect until 37, he already built such, uh, you know, such uh, big buildings in Chicago. It's the road. Lakeview Presbyterian Church, 1888 in Chicago. There is a, a certain uh, simplicity in, in his way of, uh, you know, uh, bringing aesthetics to the building, which, uh, I mean, this simplicity is, uh, you know, in good measure, we could say it is modern. And we can only imagine what this architect would have built if he lived after four, uh, other 40 years. If he lived other 40 years, he would have been 81. Today, there are so many architects who are over 90. Okay, the interior is perhaps, <clears throat> I'm sorry, <clears throat> perhaps a little bit sweet, but um, the exterior is okay. And so are the benches, the, you know, solidly made benches. Now the Mona, Mona no, building, uh, also a National Register of Historic Places, 1889. I like this building, you know, I like these, um, you know, uh, bow windows, which create these uh, powerful uh, verticals on the building. Uh, you know, it, it's a good building indeed. 
I mean, there are many tall buildings in Chicago, but uh, you know, to stand out between those many tall buildings, it does mean something. The building still exists. It's another scale altogether. I mean, the brave new world really built big. And you know, this was still the 19th century and look what buildings they built. I mean, if you imagine this building in Paris, for example, it would have dwarfed the whole city. Just this building. Yes, uh, a skillful architect, and we can only regret he died young. Society for Savings Building in Cleveland, 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 1889. In Ohio. Reliance Building, Chicago, but just the ground floor. That's how the tall office buildings began to be built in the brave new world. Now, uh, this building in Iowa, 1891, he died in 1891. It's a railway station or a depot. Uh, a depot, yes. Well, this depot could have been almost a church. building with a very good uh, roof uh, most surely uh, remade but unfortunately look the building seems uh, abandoned uh, in this picture
brand new roof, but what is underneath is a different story. It had nice windows when it was uh, functioning. This one I see, it also has a national register uh, status. Uh, let's hope uh, some function uh, will arrive to the building. Okay, uh, uh, let's wish him happy birthday and express our sorrows that uh, he died young. And now, um, uh, let's see, now we'll, we'll go to the second subject uh, today.